comes in hard. Said it best. We love AJ Griffin. I know he had a quiet game tonight, but oh, baby. You can tell people in Atlanta love that man, AJ Griffin, and Nate McMillan is starting to play him more. In the bench, besides Oneko Okongo, yes, Oneko Okongo is still struggling with the fouls, but he's, you know, he's still valuable. Even though Clint Capella had a great night tonight, 20 rebounds, 18 points, could not miss from the field. Trey Young dropped 26. DeJounte Murray scoring wise, it was a big choir, but I'm telling you guys, I don't get why people aren't giving DeJounte Murray defensive player of the year respect. Okay. It's it's really, you know, intriguing to me. Cause I'm I'm perplexed. I'm perplexed and I want to know why right now. Why this isn't, you know, like it's just it pisses me off. Nobody's talking about it. Then you got yourself John Collins, who's been consistent. He had a quiet night tonight. DeAndre Hunter really be starting to come into that kind of like a the light version of an OG Ananobi for this team. DeAndre Hunter right now in the season is shooting, you know, 38% from three. And you got yourself John Collins, but who's a guy's almost averaging like a double double every night. He's averaging 13 and 8, but he's also one and a half blocks with a steal a game been very efficient even though the three-point shot has not been falling as late but he's shown that it has fallen and this is a team that i think is probably a top five team maybe in the nba maybe i'm wrong you guys might think i'm being a bit ostentatious i think they could be a top five by the end of the season right now i have them as a top 10 i'd argue that they're like the seventh best team in the nba maybe even higher maybe even higher okay because when i look at this team i think they are the fifth best team in the team in the league because nobody is better than the hawks in making you pay for your mistakes in transition they score a ridiculous 131.1 points per per 100 transition possessions their true shooting percentage is damn near 70 69.4 percent and their 9.9 percent turnover rate is top 10 in the nba trey young and dejounte murray are just blitzing everybody with their transition offense deandre hunter clint capella and john collins all do a phenomenal job running the floor and they just don't do it as a team a whole lot they don't force a lot of team over turnovers so they limit how quickly they can push opponents on their heels but they've done a tremendous job in transition and they've really limited what opponents do going in the other direction and for me people don't realize that this team isn't fully healthy okay bogdan bogdanovich hasn't come back yet he's gonna be a part of this and this is a team that i i could smell them if somebody became available that they liked maybe they move maybe they send bogdan for like buddy healed because buddy healed's an expiring contract i believe or he has one more year, but either way, imagine Buddy Heald on this team. I could see them being smart and making a move like that, but for me, this has just been a great team that has just proven everybody wrong. Like, DeJounte Murray looks really good as a second fiddle to Trey Young. John Collins is moved down the option chart, which actually helps out the hierarchy. And this is a team that is playing really well, and the defense looks solid on the surface, being near, you know, about almost you know middle of the pack and yes they foul a bit too much and i think it's just a bit young guys and as they get more and more coerced it's gonna work out well let me hear your thoughts